Welcome to BMC Helix Video Solutions. In this video, we will be seeing how our ITSM users are synced from the Helix ITSM People CTM form to Helix portal. I have logged into the Helix portal using one of the administrator user and let me click on the user access, user send keys. I can see all the external users. These users are managed from the BMC Helix ITSM. So now let's, I uh, will log into the BMC Helix ITSM. So let me open the people CTM form. Yeah, so this is the people CTM form. So I will be creating a new user in this. Let's provide the name. I'll select the company name. And then let me go to the login, provide the login name. I will just give name T and login one. Let me select the license type. So we can see the various license type. Please note for license type read and restrict, the users will be not pushed to the Helix portal on the real time, but every user who has the license type as a read or restricted, they need to perform their first login on the Helix portal. So it would be dynamically synced to the Helix portal and it would be visible. So for here, I will select the license type as a floating then whatever permission user needs to be required, update those permissions. So for now, I will just make it as a administrator from the ITSM end and click save. Let me provide the password. So we can see our T1 user has been created. Now let me go back to the Helix portal and reload the page. We can see the T1 user is created. So now how this user is synced from the ITSM people CTM form to the Helix portal. Now let's we'll check that and we'll see. When ITSM Converge platform gets connect with the Helix platform, that time there is one interoperability pipeline which registers all the Helix ITSM application on the Helix portal landing page and it creates couple of webhooks in the webhooks form of ITSM. So whenever a new user gets created in the ITSM people CTM form or a new user updates happens to particular available user, those changes would get pushed to the Helix portal. So let's we'll review those webhooks. So this is the ITSM webhook registration form. I will just search all the webhooks. So all of these webhooks are responsible to push the new users to the Helix portal or push the update of the new users or users to the Helix portal. So for example, we just created a user which instantly pushed to the Helix portal. And that was done because of this webhook. So there are a couple of webhooks, for example, for add user, add webhook is there and even it will call the update as well. So see this one, so for update, changes this webhook will push the updates of user to the helix portal so these are the all webhooks which are responsible to to push a new user to helix portal or push updates of the users to the helix portal we can see in this webhook the callback url it is helix portals ims url and how this webhook will connect to the callback url here are the access keys which will get added during the interoperability pipeline executions. And here is the webhook ID. So if anything is wrong over here in the webhook and you do not see the users are not getting pushed to the Helix portal, user can just pick this webhook ID and check the logs for this webhook to understand the error why the webhook set is not working. So this concludes my video. Thank you for watching. Please refer to the official documentation for additional information.